Oh, hello, my name is Nessie, and I'm going to show you how to uh, unlock your hidden bio settings for AMD users. Pre built. If you already have a custom BIOS, what the heck are you doing here? You're supposed you have a unlocked. Sorry, you have a BIOS that have all you can you can change anything in it. Basically, you can access the advanced menu. This tutorial is gonna show you how to do that without flashing it, without modifying it. Just using a USB booting method and a BIOS accessing utility, whatever it's called. This smokeless UMAF. I assume that you know the following things. You know how to reset the CMOS battery and access it. Or change the j jumpers if you know what these are either way if you know either of those two you're fine on that part too you you obviously have a machine sorry i mean <laughs> well how what should i say yeah you you shouldn't change settings that you don't know you sh you can always ask people if it's safe to save that change that setting thirdly uh, what would be the most important thing is to well read this github page i'm not gonna babysit you and read you come on you can read it's not it's a very, very short page i assume you know that you should download a zip file and also format the usb drive before you're zipping everything into the USB drive but how should you format it into a file system sorry I mean the file system should be FAT32 that's it when you're done I'm gonna go on with it yeah I'm gonna go on with the video we can pause it here anyway yeah and also yeah I forgot secure boot you need to disable it because otherwise this won't be able to initialize the system will detect that this is some foreign foreign firmware whatever or some foreign file that's supposed to change something I don't know and it will basically say oh invalid boot signature so you want to you want to avoid that what I want to do is show you that this actually works by changing settings that are not available for me this is not available this is not available either even these settings are not available but I can change them too but I'm gonna change change two settings because otherwise the video will be too long and uh, yeah I want to make this short and concise concise yeah concise so what I want you to do now is after this you restart the machine you oh of course you obviously know what a BIOS is what and what it actually does like basic things like initializing the system for boot something and, and changing the settings can alter the behavior of the hardware something like that oh shit I forgot Pre mash the escape key there we go Whew, what a timing I've talked too much yeah but I'm gonna show you that my BIOS is locked so I'm not lying to you here there is no advanced menu there is nothing there is no way for me to access the advanced BIOS because HP has disabled that and the reason is because they want to keep you safe of course this is not a problem for those that are not interested in this kind of stuff they don't want to change that because obviously changing the firmware or the BIOS is probably the best thing you could do if you don't know what to do or what, what to, sorry what should I say what that is or what these settings are you should always ask people, but for enthusiasts, sorry, if enthusiast, I don't know how to say it, but for people that are interested, yeah, you, you want to, you, you, you probably wouldn't buy a pre-built like me, uh, but I bought a pre-built because of circumstances that are extreme, the GPU shortage, that was the cheapest option, this lad, and I can't even access the advanced menu. 
How freaking preposterous. I paid for this machine. Sorry, my dad, but it's mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm a spoiled brat. Anyway, security configuration boot options. Yeah, that's secure boot. This is disabled. And ignore changes and exit because obviously you want to access the actual BIOS of your machine. And so basically, what's gonna happen is you go into that boot menu and you boot from the USB. Now, this works, and when that process is done, you follow the instructions, you should obviously be greeted with this menu that comes before me. And what you can do is you can change a bunch of menus and boot manager boot maintenance managers yeah it's kind of weird it's cool but kind of weird it's like alien to me in a sense but at the same time I'm very familiar not with all of those settings but the RAM settings mostly and some CPU settings and changing your VRAM for example sorry no 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 the, the, the IGPU VRAM to 65 because that's the UMA buffer I think that's what's called yeah and you go into this for example oh sorry let me just skip with the camera here yeah that's the power I hate when the camera focuses like this power down enable is disabled enable that save the setting bang pretty cool right and then you go down to the CBS menu AMD CBS and that's the custom bio settings I think that's what it's called. And then you go into UMSC common options, for example, and go into memory mapping and then put it to auto. For me, auto just disables the alternate mode. Alternate mode, yeah. Don't worry about my parents, they're arguing in the background because I'm talking too much. Anyway bad time to do a video like this but I really wanted to do this because I am tired of people being in the same position as me the fact that they're suffering over the fact that they're stuck with this stupid pre-roll that doesn't let them change the advanced menu then the reason yeah it's pretty simple you wanna out squeeze as much performance as possible And I'm basically I'm basically doing this with <laughs> I'm doing this with to one hand. It's kind of anyway. You saw my name. Don't tell this to anyone. I will I will hunt you down. <laughs> yeah, I should probably delete Razor and stuff like that. So, but anyway, enough of that. Don't comment on the stuff I have. Okay, just ignore it. Don't torture me in the comment section, okay? I don't want to be tortured by people who know more than me because I feel bad. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You can, you can insult me all you want. No, I'm joking. I'm a masochist. But yeah, you can see that BGS is enabled, but the alternate BGS alt is disabled. Power down is enabled. So you see, I can also revert the settings. It's stock. Well, so not, sorry, it's not stock. And yeah, that's the. It's just a bunch of weird RAM modules that are 3200 CL22. Yeah, that's preposterous. And I, I, I can't overclock. Sorry, I can't tighten the timings down to CL16 because this motherboard or memory module sucks ass. Another reason you shouldn't buy a pre built if you want to squeeze as much performance as possible. Unless if you want a high quality pre built there are those, but uh, my, my stores are selling these because they're cheaper. But yeah, you can find good pre builds I'm, I'm not saying that they're bad, but I recommend strongly, I, I tend to recommend more that you should get the non pre built because of the options you have, you can choose any kind of hardware you wish. The only thing that's limiting you in that sense is availability of the parts, not the computer itself, but 
Uh, you can also upgrade it, uh, upgrade it down the line. There's no proprietary parts. But yeah, sorry, this is not about pre builds. Why they're so bad or good? This is about the bios. <coughs> sorry, I'm a bit, I'm a bit sickly today. I'm very tired. It's been a long school day. Oh, I'm telling you about myself. That's cool, right? Anyway. You probably don't care about that. You you want to do the fun stuff. That's it. overclocking and changing BIOS. Hopefully not breaking your computer in the process while doing it. Don't worry about breaking your computer. It really happens if you try to update your BIOS, I think. But there is always a possibility of breaking your PC if you change settings that you're not supposed to or do something very stupid like permanently breaking it through because of voltage you, you kill your C you kill your CPU or your motherboard a anyway yeah and then you go to UMAC common options again we already know this and then you go alternate mode and the process is just very very simple it's just all you have to understand is that if you do something wrong, you can always reset the CMOS. Provided that it's like a setting that doesn't break your computer or destroy it, then a CMOS reset works. I, I have never seen a CMOS reset unbrick a computer like that, but I guess there's a possibility of a recovery. HP has this where you can press two keys down and then you get a recovery menu. I never had to do that because I obviously don't update my firmware and lose power unlike some keep updating their firmware because they want the latest and best yeah okay okay sorry yeah let's go to Zen timings and drumsticks sorry drums drumsticks whatever it's called why am I talking about drumsticks? I don't know. Yeah, you can see that's disabled and that's enabled. That's also disabled as desired. There is no undesired changes here. As you see, you can compare before and after. There's only two changes, so you should be fine. But this, I have experienced that this menu, sorry, this method is a bit sketchy. So not sketchy. It's a bit weird because I. I have I've had situations where my computer doesn't boot up for some reason and but that's because of a setting. So I have to reset the CMOS. But yeah. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this alleviates your pain of using a pre build if you think that if it's because of the BIOS is being locked away from you because of manufacturer Uber Guga. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye and have a good good day or evening whatever you whatever you are in the world